Hey, what's up YouTube? So, to Bixi here, and today I'm trying to bring you a video, very short one, on how to explain, or on explaining how to sustain certain maps. Now, the first thing you want to know is you can sustain any two maps, not a single map, any two maps on the Atlas, that at some point, with any amount of watchstones, um, correspond in tiers, yet are not in the same quadrant. Those are the necessities of um, this entire strategy. Now I'm gonna try to explain this as good as I can, but I don't want to make like a 50 minute video, so. Um, there is a couple of things you need to know about map drops. So first of all, any map will always drop its adjacent map. So let's say you want to sustain underground seas and you made the new atlas and you didn't complete a single T6 in this quadrant, you would still be able to drop in this case, Volcano, because Volcano is also a T6. And it being a T6 means that when you put in the Underground Sea, you can drop the Volcano. Now, how do we counter this? I'll use our example um, in this video. We are sustaining ports and burial chambers in um, our current setup. So what we did is, every single one of these quadrants, so Lexa Yoris, Lyra Arfeid, Valdos Rest, Nuva Skir, Glenar Cairns, Tyrns, and, and Hayward Hamlet, we have full completion of every single map. T1, T2, T3, even T6s, everything. This doesn't matter, because when we're putting maps in a map device, these quadrants will be four-socketed, which means they only act as T14 to 16 maps. So they don't interfere with the T6 maps we're actually running. Now for these two quadrants, which is the two quadrants we have our maps in, we only completed tier 4 and tier 5 maps. Because if you, you know, if you complete a T7, it's going to drop in a T6 map. If you complete a T6, it's going to drop in a T6 map. So this is my atlas. The, this is my old atlas. It's not on this atlas. My supports atlas in Lex Proxima does not have any of these tier 6s. Well, besides port, right? Uh, does not have any of the T7s in there. Does not have Overgrown Ruin in this quadrant and does not have any other T6 and Burial Chambers in this quadrant. Now what that does is the following. So, let's say you buy five port maps, right, to start off. If you buy five port maps, you put four Watchstones here in this quadrant. Now, if you put in a port map, where's port? Uh, here's port. If you put in a port map, you can no longer drop Maze or Desert because you're putting in a T6 port map. And your maze and your desert are tier 14. So, port can no longer drop adjacent maps, right? Because we're putting in T6 maps, and the maps adjacent to port in the atlas are T14 or 15. Now, what that does is, we need to make sure we have one watchstone in this quadrant, right? And again, we don't have any of these maps completed. So, when we put a T6 map in, and we have this atlas set up, there's only one T6 on our entire atlas, which is Burial Chambers. So the only map that's going to drop when we put in T6 ports in this setup is going to be Burial Chambers. So you run all your ports, you know, you accumulate like 20 Burial Chambers, you roll your Burial Chambers, and then you take out these Watchstones. You put them in the thing, it's like exactly the same. This also is convenient for Sextants, right, because you can still Sextant that way. So now, if you put in the Burial Chambers, which are T6, well, they can't drop mineral pools or villas, you know, or mesa or wasteland because these are T14s on your atlas, right? So you can't drop them in T6 form or shape or whatever. You can't drop them as T6s. You have to drop them high tier, which is impossible because you're putting in a T6 map. Now in this quadrant, imagining again my atlas or my supports this atlas who does not have all these T6 and T7s, well, there's only one T6 on this entire atlas right now, which is port. So when he puts in a burial chamber, he's going to start dropping only ports. So that's the TLDR on how to sustain two maps. If you want to, um, you know, bother yourself with starting all over again, uh, Atlas-wise, and making a new account or something, um, probably maybe buy some stash tabs or, or whatnot. Um, it's kind of annoying, but it is a way to do it. Like we did it. Uh, I was lucky to have a support that wanted to play support and did have a clean Atlas, though. And we started mapping ports and burials, and it felt so good, like compared to doing maze or necropolis or, yeah. I had a lot of fun on day one of this strategy. 
but I had a lot of questions about it, which is why I make this short video. I hope you understand. If you don't understand, or if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. You can also drop by on stream where we're actually actively mapping on this atlas and the sustain is amazing at twitch.tv slash tbxe. I should be online uh, throughout Europe daytime, uh, you know, um, at least for the next month. Um, if you liked the video, make sure to press the subscribe button and I have to thank you then for watching and I'll see you next time with the next video.